computer. Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to our Mind, Body, Soldier community prayer. Tracy, I love your enthusiasm. You are eyes closed, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Caitlin, are you with us, my friend? She is not ready. You don't have to close your eyes just yet. We just wanted to welcome you all <laughs> this morning. We are all in a really silly, giddy mood. And I really think that it's just we are overcoming and coming back to God, and it's so amazing. So with our heads bowed, our eyes closed, let's get together and pray today on this beautiful first day of May, Friday, in case you're wondering the day, we try to help you out there as well. Lord, we are just so grateful for walking with you every single day. Please forgive us for our sins. We thank you for just all the opportunities that you've given us, all of the grace that you have given us, all the forgiveness, shit, I mean, seriously, all the forgiveness you have given us. We probably have to put an explicit thing on this, but you know, you made us in your image and we are going to have good days. We're going to have bad days. We're going to have moments where we struggle and remind us, remind us just to come to you, bring it before the cross, lay it down, seek out wise counsel. I thank you for yesterday when I was having conips after conips and not even sure, I'm pretty sure old biddies use that term, but just, I just could not wrap my head around what I was feeling. And I know it was from the enemy because I felt so confident in what we were trying to move forward with in this nutrition challenge. And the enemy kept trying to stop me, stop me, stop me, but it wasn't, you know, the feeling you were there. And instead of, you know, throwing my hands up, saying what I wanted to say, doing the things that I wanted to do, I was able to track down Trace because she had the day off. So thank you for that. And just, and just lay it all out to her. And I know that you gave her the words to bring it back to me. And for, thank you for Linda's verse yesterday morning, because using the verse that she gave us combined with the verse that you gave me about anxiety and worry and all of that. It was incredible to see how faithful you are in every single tiny moment. That might not have been a big moment or a big issue for someone else, but you know that I'm constantly struggling to just follow your journey. So I thank you for that. Lord, I want to pray over Misty. Um, she asked for our prayers for her, so you know what she needs, Lord. Just we lift her up to you. I want to pray over Caitlin. She got, looks like she got a good night's sleep, and we're so grateful for her to get some rest. Um, we pray over her future trip to Florida. It's not in stone, but you just, if that is where she's meant to be laying on her house, if not, leave her up there and we will go see her. We just pray for guidance in that decision and protection over John as he's traveling sometime soon. Uh, pray over Linda and her family. And we hope that Taylor had a beautiful birthday. And I think that was two days ago or yesterday. They're planning together. Um, but we are just so grateful for Linda and we pray over Tracy and her family and just continue to, you know, guide them in your light. And I, Lord, I pray over our mind, body, soldier tribe every single day. And I pray over our, their families and their friends and for protection and for healing and for miracles, Lord, because you are the God of miracles. I pray for my siblings. I pray for grace and for healing and for comfort and that you will bring them closer to you. I pray for my mom and her sickness and that you can help heal her body. Um, I pray for my dad and Peg. I pray for them just to continue to bring light and laughter and love into their lives. I pray over my mother-in-law, my brother-in-laws, my sister-in-laws, my nieces, my nephews. Just pray over my whole family, um, you know, and just keep them safe. Draw us closer to you. Draw us closer together and help us to be, you know, a with all, within all of our families, a closer family unit. Um, and I, one more, let's see. Oh, and I thank you for this morning. Um, Brian and I prayed together for the first time ever in our marriage, ever, ever, ever. I might have forced him into just coming over and sitting with me, but you laid that on my heart. You gave me the words to say in our prayer time. You broke down that wall that we've had for years and years of just doing everything separately. And I feel overjoyed for that. So thank you for that. All right, Lord, I'll pass you over to someone else. <laughs> Linda? I will take it. You know, I often neglect myself and I feel selfish when I ask for prayers for myself. And I know that's something that I need to work on, but I'm not the only one. I, and I get a whole lot of people are like that. We don't put ourselves first. We put you first. We put other people first. We put work first. We put our kids first, but we never put ourselves first. Or at least it seems like that. And sometimes I feel like that's because I don't know what to do. And I struggle with what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? And I get caught up in that whirlwind, a feeling like I'm not doing anything. And I can't imagine that I'm the only person out there who feels like this. And sometimes I feel like I cry from day to day and I feel like there's no reason, but that doesn't mean that anything needs to be done or that there's depression or there's the problem or there's this or that. Sometimes that's just the way that we feel. 
And so I'm asking today for just help me help everybody else. These, these constant reminders that maybe we're not supposed to be doing anything, but just waiting, waiting to hear your words and waiting. And that if we just step back and give ourselves a chance that you will be there for us, you are there for us. You'll speak to us. You'll let us know what to do. And we just have to make way and wait and you'll be there with us. Just, Help me to remember that and help everybody else to remember that and just help us stay strong. Tracy. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, Lord. Um, just, I want to start off by just, again, thanking you for, you know, giving me today off so that I can be here with these ladies. You know, if I could have every day with them at this time praying with you that would be just like the best thing ever so just thankful for today for allowing me to have this time and reminding us and reminding me how important it is to come together i want to give some extra attention to my sister and um, my nieces and just be with them through this time that's difficult i know you know, that are supposed to graduate, things aren't looking the same with everything going on. They're missing out on those, those things they look forward to prom graduation, being with their friends, being able to close out this year and starting a big chapter in their lives with post-secondary college university. And, you know, it's not looking that way and things are being canceled and it's really hard for them. It's really hard for them to understand and just figure this out and just be with them through this, remind them that, you know, even though things may not look like typical and the way they, you know, planned on it, that it's okay. And that doesn't mean it's not any less special. Just be with them um, right now. And please watch over my family just as a whole, as a unit, you know, things the way they are. It's really hard for us to all connect, to be there for each other to understand each other's situations, me working, them being home, being out, I worry. I don't want them, you know, putting themselves or anyone else in danger, but just trying to be respectful of their choices, remind myself of that. Um, and just, I just wanna have you pray and be with and watch over all of our tribe members, Louise, Caitlin, Linda, Jack, Susan, I'm, would love to name everyone, Morgan, Trisha, Megan. Oh my gosh, I could go on, but just be with them all. Cause I know we're all having individual struggles at this moment. It's hard. And just remind us all that you're with us um, every step of the way in Jesus name. Caitlin, did you want to add anything? She said, no, <laughs> Jesus name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Um, Seriously, thank you guys for this morning. <laughs> After, I felt like I had a newborn baby last night not sleeping, and I just, I really didn't want to come this morning. And the first thing I opened up my phone to was, because I'm on a streak, I don't know if you know what a streak is, it's trending. I think it trended like 17 years ago, back in the day. But I'm on a streak, not in, um, what is it, Snapchat, the yellow app. <laughs> oh my God, I just totally, am, I don't use, I deleted Snapchat like a year and a half ago. Anyways, the Holy Bible app has streaks now, or it has for quite a a while but it tells you your streak and how many weeks in a row and so I panicked last night at midnight when I was awake I thought it was 11 57 I was like oh, did I go in there and it was 1201 and I was like did I ruin my streak but I read it first thing in the morning like I mean when I open because you know that like what the biddies say and biddies is a kind term for um like old women that's what I want people to refer to me as it's just not a derogatory term it is a very sweet loving term um but anyways so I was on the streak and I love the way that they say like before my, Linda, you might know the saying, I'm going to butcher it before my heat fit, hit the floor, something about getting into the Lord or something. I don't know. But I always thought, how do they see their Bible so early in the morning without waking up their family? You know, cause they always say like, I get in the word before my feet hit the floor. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? How? Like, do you have a little ninja light? Like I'm envisioning all these things in my brain. And so like the last few months, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how they did it. I'm going to find out. I'm going to seek out wise counsel there, but I've been able to just open up my, cause it, seeing my phone, like, oh, wait, awakes my brain. 
Does that make sense? Like, I'm like, oh, I don't want to get up. And I'll, I'll snooze my alarm. I'll snooze my alarm. But if I grab my phone, instead of going into Facebook or my email or this or that, I pop up my app. And so I just read the verse. And now, so this, this morning's verse, which is really funny, is to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. And so I have tried, been trying to be obedient about setting aside this time in the morning before I meet with you girls at 730 to pray over our community, to pray by myself and connect with God and ask for forgiveness and thankfulness and all that stuff. And so this morning I didn't want to get up because I didn't sleep. And it was really funny. It's to do, to do righteousness and justice is acceptable to the Lord. But they also added in these little stories. It's like an Instagram story where it gives you be quiet with God. Here's your verse. And then someone talks for about two minutes. So I listened to this right up against my face. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Right. And today was all about being obedient to the Lord. And I was like, really? I don't want to get up right now. You're going to guilt me into this. And it was like, I had this turmoil back and forth. And it's funny because then we come on here and we hear, you know, Linda's prayer about being, you know, what we think is selfish selfish praying for ourselves and i i believe so many of us feel that way and as soon as you said that linda i was like oh i grabbed my books with my eyes closed um <laughs> i grabbed my books and i was like i read that the other day in 2020 the bible study it was that the two greatest commandments good morning yeah, I got oh. email. you no. <laughs> <laughs> he got the baby up no oh liam this is like an hour and a half early Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you my piece on this real quick and so I can address that. And dang it, my whole morning just went out the window. Thanks, Lord. Um, sure, there's a reason for it. But it says the two greatest commandments were one is to love your love God with all your heart, your soul, and all your mind. And then the second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. But in that, and I think we take that, and she broke it apart, in that when we are so worried about we love God and then we love our neighbor, right? But if we love God and then we go directly to our neighbor, we leave ourselves out. And how are we supposed to love our neighbor if we don't love ourselves? And so she says in here um, that to love God, we also must love us. Because if we don't love us, like God is in us, right? God is in us. If we don't love us, we can't love God. Therefore, we cannot love thy neighbor. And so often we come together and we pray for everybody, 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 and we forget that we need to pray for ourselves. And that's why I get up early and, you know, I did feel selfish at first, but I get up early to pray for me. I get up early to have that time with God and I ask God for my forgiveness. I ask God, I thank God for what he's given me. I ask God to shine light on my path first because I need that so that I can come and I can, I can love him in the him that the Christ that is in me. And then I can come and love you guys and all of our tribe, but I can't do that properly if I'm not praying for me in God's guidance. And so I just wanted to address that Linda, because as soon as you said it, I was like, no, that's why I, that's why I steal my quiet time. That's when we even had our morning executive meetings. Sure. You want a cookie? Great. Why not? It's only, you know, hour and a half before you're supposed to wake up. Good morning. But, um, but no, I really like, that's why I have my time. And that's why I struggle with giving up any of my morning time because it is God's. I don't even do my workouts in the morning. I do nothing. And I used to get up and go and do, 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 do. you know me, my brain goes a million miles an hour. One, one minute. One, you know, hang on. Um, so I just wanted to address that, that we really should be taking that quiet time with him for us first before even coming and asking for prayers for everybody else. And to remove that burden of feeling selfish because you're not. God is in us. So when we take care of us, we are giving it right back and taking care of God. And so that comes back to us praying for ourselves. That comes back to our workouts. That comes back to our, our mindset care where we're getting into the word or doing personal development that can shock us, our systems, and be like, whoa, I'm really struggling. You know, reaching out and seeking wise counsel. That is so important. Seeking wise counsel, seeking wise counsel, seeking wise counsel. And I hear it over and over and over again. When I start to spin, I need someone who is just going to put the word into me. Not someone who's going to just be like, well, you're right, Jack. I can convince anyone of anything. I don't need to convince anyone of anything. Maybe besides not Caitlin and Linda and Tracy. But, you know, they will be, you guys do that for me. It's like, well, yeah, but, you know, and so that's why I think a reminder to everyone, find a wise counsel, seek them. They're not going to, if they are believers, if they are, you know, they, they walk in Christ, if they have 
if you, like, you know who they are, don't be shy to reach out. And I think that's huge. Don't be shy to reach out. Hey, I need prayers specifically about this because they're not going to judge you. They're not going to look down on you. They're not going to sit here and go gossip to someone else about you. They're going to take your prayers. Even if you don't have a wise counsel, you only have one person. They're going to take your prayers and bring it to people who will pray over you. And I think that is so important. So Linda, you're not selfish. Um, we need to do more of that. So mm -hmm. I love you for sharing that and being honest because that's not easy either. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got a par parent and adult. Mm -hmm. Do we want to, we're good? Anyone? I'll share one thing before we close out, if that's okay. Yeah. I came across this this morning too, Jack, and I don't, I think it fits pretty well with this unexpected theme that we had this morning that we needed to hear uh, this message. So it's who you say I am. I am chosen. And every statement is followed by a verse from the Bible. So I'm going to read that. Okay. It might take about a couple minutes, but I am chosen one Thesians one, four. I am called of God two Timothy. I am being changed into his image two Corinthians. I am a new creation two Corinthians. I am the temple of the Holy spirit. One Corinthians. I am forgiven of all my sins. Ephesians. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. Galatians. I am blessed. I am the head and not the tail. I don't know how to say this. Dudiments, I think. I am above and not beneath. Dudiments. I am victorious. Revelation. I am set free. John 8.32. I am strong in the Lord. Ephesians 6.10. I am healed by his wounds. 1 Peter. I am free from condemnation. Romans. I am reconciled to God. 2 Corinthians. I am joint hairs of Christ, Romans. I'm more than a conqueror, Romans. I am accepted in him, Ephesians 1.6. I am complete in him, Corinthians 2.10. And I read that, I think like three or four times. And every time I read it, it's like I feel just more uplifted. So I wanted to share that. I just had to share that with you all. It's funny. I wrote, <laughs> speaking of stories, my Instagram story was, I am, and then I said chosen and available and all these things just before when we hopped on and I didn't tell you about it and you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> That's what I wrote. And my hashtag was I am because we need to speak that into ourselves. I am chosen, eklektos, so the Greek word for chosen. And it speaks so, it's like, I am chosen. I am the daughter of a king. And was it you, Trace, we were talking about it yesterday? It was some, like, and it was like, I am the daughter of a king, the king. I don't care who your daughter of here on earth, that does not matter. Your daughter to the king, like the king. And I don't know about you, but I love medieval time shit. So you <laughs> thinking need to that, wipe I need to wipe Liam's bottom. <laughs> I really got a fan. Okay, so if this helped you at all, I don't know, of course it helped you, it's prayer. Join us 7.30 in the morning, um, ish, we say ish, but just send us your prayer request, you guys. I know it's hard to hop on live. Send us your prayer request. He is straight up naked with poop on his butt. I gotta go. You close it, close it, Linda. <laughs> yep, stop the recording. <laughs>